Okay, TransMath 2 class, we are going to um, look at the notes for 2.2. Uh, the main thing that we'll be looking at is comparing fractions with different denominators. But first, we will do our um, kind of review here, skills maintenance. Okay, it says order the fractions from least to greatest, so from smallest to largest. And since they all have nines in the denominator, this should be pretty easy. So we see 1 ninth would be the smallest. 2 ninths, I'll cross those out, 1 ninth, 2 ninths, and it looks like 4 ninths would be next, 5 ninths, and 9 ninths, least to greatest. Okay, two common multiples. Okay, so again on these ones, because 12 is a multiple of 4, then that means we can just write 12 and then count by 12. So we could do 12 and then add another 12, that would be 24. Okay, same thing here. Again, 12 is a multiple of 3, and so we can count by 12s again, 12 and 24. Same thing here, since 20 is a multiple of 2, we can count by 20s, 20, 40. Okay, on this next one, so 4 and 6, 6 is not a multiple of 4 because you'd have to go 4, and then 8, and then you go to 12. So if I count by 6s, now I'm going to just write some of these out. So if I count by 4s, it would go 4, 8, 12. And then if I count by 6s, it would go 6, and then 12. Okay, so what I can see is the first common multiple is 12. So I'm going to count by 12s again. So 12 and 24. Okay, so that's how we figure out the common multiples. All right, so on to today's lesson. It says we're going to be comparing fractions with different denominators. Okay, so which fraction is greater, 2 6 or 5 6? Well, that's pretty easy because, you know, they have the same denominator. Obviously, 5 6 is, is greater than 2 6, 5 6. And if they have the same denominator, that makes it a little bit simpler to tell. Okay, so inequality symbols. When it points to the right, this means is greater than. When it points to the left, is less than. Okay, so which fraction is greater, one third or one half? See, if we draw them out on a number line, this is why we've been working on these fair shares. So if we have zero here and one here, we have the same thing, zero and one. Well, if we break it into thirds, right, and this is one third, and then if we break this one into halves, and this is one half, right? Clearly, one half is bigger than one third. Okay, so we know that one half would be bigger than one third. Okay, so it says write an inequality that compares the two. There's two different ways we could do this. We could say one half is greater than one third, or we could say that one third is less than one half. Those are the two ways that we can write an inequality. All right. Those are both true statements, but you have to remember, this symbol means is greater than, this symbol means is less than. When it points to the left, that's less. Okay, left, left is less than. Okay, so which fraction is greater, 6 eighths or 5 6? Okay, so what we have here are two number lines set up for us, right? And we can use those to determine which one's greater. So if I mark 6 eighths right here, and then 5 6 right here, right? Well, look at how much that is. Okay, so 6 eighths goes all the way there. 5 6 goes all the way to there. 5 6 is bigger, right? So 5, um, five 6 is the larger fraction out of that. Okay, so we have to write two inequalities. So we could either say that 5 6 is greater than 6 eighths or 6 eighths is less than 5 6. Okay, they're both true. You can either say 5 6 is greater than 6 eighths or 6 eighths is less than 5 6. Okay, show one fifth on the number line. And these are some things that we've practiced before, but now I'm going to continue using those because. We want to compare these fractions. So this is three fifths. So you know, the 
there would be four fifths. We can kind of you know, gauge it from that. So one fifth would be like right there, right? If we split that evenly into fifths, show three halves on the number line. Well, if this is one half, this would be, remember, this would be two over two. And then we want to go that same distance again, that would be three over two. Okay. And this one says show one fourth on the number line. Okay, well we got three fourths on there. And so if we kind of use that same you know, two fourths, one fourth, that would be right there, right? I'm gonna kind of just split it up so that I have equal spacing. And I really only have to label this one. If, if I wanted to, I mean, I could put all the labels, but this is, this is the one that they asked for right there, right? Okay, show three halves on the number line. I just did that one. So one half, this is two halves. Three halves would be right here. One fifth. Okay, so we got three fifths, so there's that's four fifths. And one fifth is going to be about right there. One third would be right in the middle of zero and two thirds. So there's your one third. Use the number line to compare one fourth and three eighths. Okay, so what we want to do here, since they didn't break it up, we have to do that. So let's do the first number line into fourths. So fourths is going to be okay. There's. Let me try that again. Why is my eraser not working? There. Okay, so right in the middle. Oh, I can't seem to get it right in the middle. So there's one half, and if I split that up, and that one, so one fourth is going to be right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but then I have to make eighths out of these, right? So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. So one, two, three. Three eighths would be here, right? So one fourth is this distance, three eighths is that much. Okay, so which one's bigger? Looks like three eighths is bigger, right? What they're asking here is they have a less than sign. So I want to put the smaller fraction and then the bigger one. So when I give this inequality um, comparison, I want to say one fourth is less than three eighths. Okay. All right, on this one, we want to compare three sixths and two fifths. Okay, well, I'll do sixth on top here. So there's the middle, and then I'm going to do split those up like that. So 16236 is right there in the middle. Okay. And then two fifths. Now I just want to do fifths. So I'll have something about here, 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 and here. So that's one, two, three, four, five pieces. Two fifths would be here. Okay, now let's look. Three sixths is all the way to there, and two fifths is to there. Now it looks like two fifths is less than three sixths, right? So I would say two. Oops. I would say two fifths. They have the is less than symbol is less than three sixths. Okay. Two fifths is less than three sixths. More of these comparisons, so we want to compare. Oh, actually, these ones we already did. I just it was on there again. Okay. Example seven: Draw the number lines to, um, to use. Uh, draw number lines to use to compare the given fractions. Be sure to follow the rules of drawing accurate number lines and write the inequality. So basically, we just have to make our own number lines here. Okay, so. When they say use the rules, I think they just are saying make sure that you do fair shares when you draw them. So we're going to compare 5 eighths to 1 fourth. Well, let's always start with a 0 and a 1. Put those in the same spots when you're comparing 0 and 1. That's important. Okay, and then if we do eighths on the top one, start by doing fourths, and then I'll split those fourths in half. And I'm just going to count these out. One, 
two, three, four, five, five eighths is right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of highlight that. There's five eighths, and then I want to do fourths on the other one. So we'll go right in the middle again, and one fourth is right here. And clearly, uh, one fourth is going to be less than five eighths. One fourth is less than five eighths. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I guess that's what we just did. One fourth is less than five eighths. Okay. Marilyn compared two thirds and five sixths using the two number lines. From her drawing, she decided that five sixths is less than two thirds. Do you agree with Marilyn? Circle yes or no. Um, well, I mean, the way she drew it kind of looks like five sixths is less than two thirds. But do you see anything wrong with how she marked out her number line here? I mean, it's does it seem like it's spaced evenly? If this is one sixth and then two sixths is there, three aren't they? She's really kind of made them not equally spaced, and then all the way from five six to six six is huge, right? So I'm gonna disagree with Marilyn. Um, my reasoning: she did not space, not equally space. we were going to do six, I think, you know, and I could even do it right on the same number line right there. I'll just, I'll show this right here because a sixth would be half of a third. So there would be one sixth. This would be two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths would actually be right here because this would be the same as one sixth. This would be two sixths, which is the same as one third. Three sixths is the same as half. Four sixths is the same as two thirds, and five sixths would actually be right here. So five sixths would be greater than. So she's wrong. It has to do with the way she drew her number line. She didn't space them equally. All right, so that's your lesson for um, 2.2.